in a lifetime. Therefore, we are saved by hope. And nothing that's good or beautiful or true ever makes complete sense in any immediate context of history. And therefore, we must be saved by faith. And no achievement, no matter how great, is ever made alone. Therefore, we are saved by love. Would you repeat what you say here? Jim Andrews comes up to the microphone, looks out at 3,000 young people, smiles, and says, you heard me. The Church of Jesus Christ is not short of people who want power. The Church of Jesus Christ is short of people who are willing to serve. Turn around. <laughs> To the water, bring your feet to the ground. Now bring it into silence and bring it into sound. Bring your blessings and your praises to the beauty all around. Bring it to the table, bring a symbol, bring a sign. Bring the bread of your living, bring the fruit divine. Bring it to your neighbor and bring it across the line. Bring it whole, bring it broken, and bring it now's the time. Part of what I respect about you, Madam Moderator, is you in these moments were never patronizing. One of these old, white, bald, rotund men in the black Geneva gowns actually used the word cute. You're, you're so cute. So, oh, then one of them said, apparently, you, you're the future of the church. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Which, which I hate. The phrase, I get it. The future of the church and the church of the future, I get it. The problem is, mostly times when I hear young, uh, adults say that about young people, it really is dismissive. Because what they're saying is, you ain't church yet. Okay? <laughs> they neglect the fact that you are not just the future of the church. You are the church of Jesus Christ today.